and hello. So yesterday I made this time lapse video of drawing a deep sea jellyfish called Big Red. I'm going to make this first part of the video a little bit quicker um, because the initial sketching was very light and you could barely see it and then uh, afterwards the video will get a tiny little bit slower so that you can actually see what I'm doing. It was much more of an experimental drawing. I just wanted to play around with uh, some pastel colors and texture and experimental just to see how the final result would look. In the end I uh, photographed the piece and reworked it a little bit digitally so that I can put it on uh, Redbubble uh, for you to buy as print if you're interested. But I'm not going to babble around uh, about what I did, how I used pastel and all this stuff. But instead I wanted to tell you a little bit about this creature I drew. So I'm just going to read a part of the Wikipedia article. I hope I'm not uh, hurting any copyright here because I mean you could google big red deep sea jellyfish and you could get the same Wikipedia article. So, Big Red is one of the largest sea jellies and unusual in a number of ways. They live at ocean depths of 600 to 1500 meters and have been found across the Pacific Ocean in the Gulf of California, Monterey Bay, Hawaii and Japan. It is very likely that these jellies are exhibiting deep sea gigantism. They can grow up to 76 centimeters in diameter, according to the California Academy of Science. Science, that's a weird plural. And have thick, fleshy oil arms in place of the long tentacles found in most jellies. The entire jellyfish is deep red in color, hence its name. To date, only 23 members of the species have been found and only one, a small specimen under 15 centimeters, has been retrieved for further study. Several high resolution videos of Big Red have been taken by remote control submarines. The discovery was announced by Dr. Matsumoto and colleagues in marine biology in 2003. So there you have it. That is the that is the creature I drew here. Like I said, in a very experimental approach. I'm not a hundred percent satisfied with the outcome, which is why I overworked it a little bit digitally to see what I can do otherwise with the drawing, maybe deepen the contrast and stuff without affecting the original more, so it was more of a playground for me. But the process was very fun. I really enjoy it, uh, mixing the pastels and smushing around colors and just... I, I didn't want to care about smudging, so I just used this as a deliberate approach to have smudges everywhere so that I don't have very clear lines and in the end I just added the details that I wanted to have so I um, so I remodeled some of the tentacles and added some acrylic whites for highlights. Even though the photograph that I was using for reference was quite a dark one as I have the Wikipedia article now here there are a lot of really great high resolution photographs um, and you could draw this creature in in all its detail if you wanted to.
you liked the time-lapse video and that I could give you some information about this creature. Like I said, you can type big red deep sea jellyfish in Google and you can find it on Wikipedia or other sites, videos on YouTube. Since it's discovery, I bet there is a lot more material about this creature now because it has been over a decade where scientists know of its existence. And it, it is only human nature to explore things further. Anyway, this drawing is up on Redbubble, if you're interested in a print of this. And um, I will see you next time in the next video. Bye!